Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the tutorial on how to paint a silicone face with alcohol paints. Alcohol paints will come off with any alcohol substance and then the reason I'm not using the actual silicone paints to paint this is because this is my practice head. So let's get started. I start out with the clean face and I'm going to be using the WM Creations stock color palette because it has the FX and the skin tone colors. I'm going to be using eyeshadow brushes, a small dome brush, a small flat brush, and a blender brush, and also a regular dome brush, and some 99% alcohol and a deli cup. It's used, but it has the colors I need, so I'm just going to keep it. And I'm going to dilute the paint with a lot of alcohol so it doesn't come on so strong. I'm using the reddish pink color on all the fleshy areas and sunken areas of the face. I'm putting it on the tips of the nose because that's where the most broken capillaries can be found. And then I'm going to go into these places back again with a purple color for where you would see any shadows, like any crevices and lines like the eye bags, the mouth lines, the mouth corners, and making sure to keep my brush always moist with the alcohol. In the more meaty areas like the chin, the cheeks, and the eyebrow skin, I'm going in with some diluted yellow color and just spreading it out very broken and spotty for some flesh pigmentation. And then I'm going back into those same areas that I had put the purple and reddish pink color it's with a little bit of blue, mostly in the inner corners of the eyes and underneath the nostrils and the mouth corners and any place there would be a shadow, such as cheekbones underneath the lip and the cupid's bow and temples. And once I have that finished, I'm going with a clean fluffy brush with alcohol and just dabbing over these areas with a cotton pad to take off some of the harshness of the paint and with a with a cut up chip brush I'm going in with a light color and just spreading that all over the face to break up the skin flatness and then I'm going to be using a dark color for some more pigmentation and finally I'm going in with a regular skin tone color that is close to the actual silicone's tone and in some areas where the spots fell on the face too harshly I'm going in with uh, the same alcohol dipped brush and just diluting it a little bit and going back in with the cotton pad wherever I feel like it needs it and going back in with the chip brush with certain colors that I feel where it needs it too and I'm basically just playing around at this point by adding more shadows and diluting it so it looks as natural as possible. With the lips, I'm just going back in with some of the pink color and I'm going to be making a pale blue by mixing some of the blue and the purple. I'm just going back into the same sunken areas wherever I would see a shadow on a face, making sure to keep it very diluted so it doesn't come on so strong. And I know it looks a little messy right now, but towards the end it should look more normal. And since I didn't have a liner brush with me, I'm just using the small dome brush and making some veins along the temple lines and where the eyelids close, nostrils, any wrinkles and creases. I'm just going back and forth with any of the brushes that I feel can fit the face a lot better for the color that I'm using. And at no point is my brush dry. It's always moist with alcohol or too much alcohol, but I have to be careful that too much alcohol might lift up all of the colors at once and leave a bald spot. And there you have it, the human silicone face. Looks kind of creepy when you leave it alone. So here's the before, and then here's the after, and here's me just playing with it because I like playing with this face. It looks really funny. Be sure to check out my speed painting video if you haven't already or let me know if you guys enjoy those more than the actual tutorial or if you like the tutorial better. And 
that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you can subscribe to my channel if you find these kinds of videos interesting or follow me on my social media. I would really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!